Hello to each and every one of you guys, hope you're all well and having a great day. I'm Craig, this is Really Random Reviews, and if you enjoy the video today, why not subscribe to the channel and help us reach our subscriber goal of 75 subscribers. I've also set up a Discord, I'll leave links in the description so you guys can go over and join us there as well. I would really appreciate that, and here's a picture of my dog Jackson as a thank you. Okay, so today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this solar-powered CCTV unit that I got from Amazon. This is by Anran, and it cost £109 in the UK at the time of recording. I'll also leave links in the description, as always. So, inside the box, we get a nice quick start guide and a 24-hour CCTV monitoring sticker. We might actually need to look at the quick start guide for the setup and the QR codes because it's uh, application based but we'll get to that later in the video so there's the solar panel nicely packed and well protected it's not been damaged or anything which is obviously really important with the solar panel it feels quite lightweight well made plastic back but it's a rigid plastic i think it's a perspex panel so it shouldn't break or crack in different temperatures and things like that yeah it's a plastic front but it should still work really well. It has a nice smooth finish and a quality feel to it. It's got a long USB cable on it, although that doesn't really make much difference here. I am going to place this pretty much right next to the camera. We've also got a one quarter inch mounting thread on the rear. Very solid and rigid, which this actually feels like it it is made quite well. We've got a generic USB charger lead there. That's in case the sun's not up in your area and you need to manually charge the device. Then we've got some mounting hardware there, some screws and raw plugs. And then we've got the mount for the solar panel and the mount for the camera. So the mount for the camera should just slide into the back of the camera and it should just lock into place. And then as I said, the solar panel mount is a one quarter inch screw and it's pretty much similar to a tripod. You loosen the thread here, which will allow you to move it and manipulate it into any position. So you could, for example, have it south facing in the morning and then change it to north in the afternoon if you needed to. Onto the actual camera itself then, this feels a little heavier. It actually feels kind of heavy duty. It's made from plastic again, but it, it is a rigid plastic. We've got the Anran logo across the front there. We've got two LED lights, a sensor, and the camera lens. There's two folding aerials, one on either side of the mount, and there's two little catches inside there, so when the camera actually slides onto this, once it's permanently fixed, it will just snap and lock into place. It is removable, but it's pretty secure when it's on. There's a little speaker on the rear of the camera so you can have two-way talk and audio. We've got the USB port which is at the bottom so that should help with waterproofing but it does include some little grommets just in case. And then underneath this little rubber grommet here we've got the on and off button, the reset button and the micro SD card slot. There's no SD card included with this unfortunately but some cameras do include them, some don't. It's not a deal breaker for me. Let's take this inside and get it all set up then. So you want to open up your camera on your smartphone and scan the QR code for the Google or Apple Play stores and install the Anran security app. It's pretty straightforward. It'll just show up like this. You'll see the little blue A logo and shield. You want to click install. Go ahead and open the application. You'll need to sign up with some credentials so you could use your mobile number or your email account. You need this for the push notifications and for the confirmation process. They'll send a code to your email address or your phone number. Now we want to go ahead and press add device. And in our case, we're adding the battery camera. So now it will tell us to power on the camera. So you want to open up that rubber grommet on the bottom and hold the power button down for a couple of seconds until we hear the chime. Press next. And now you want to go ahead and connect it to your Wi-Fi. So just enter in your Wi-Fi credentials, your, your router ID and password. And then you'll see a second connection, which is STRN. And then you may have a different number. This is the camera's Wi-Fi. You also need to connect to this and this will just basically piggyback onto your connection. This is what gives you the access to the live feed. 
So once you've connected the Wi-Fi to the camera's Wi-Fi, you can go ahead and close all this and then restart the application. This will bring you straight to your live feed and your camera settings. Pretty straightforward to set up, but if you do have any difficulty, I've got another couple of ways to show you here and a couple of troubleshooting solutions. So in this case, we failed to set it up using the direct Wi-Fi. So now we need to hold the reset button for five seconds. The application will direct you through the process nice and easy. When you hear the chime, press next. And again, you'll need to enter your Wi-Fi credentials. So your router ID and password. Then press next. And now you'll be presented with a QR code. You want to present the QR code to the CCTV camera. So you want to hold it around five to six inches in front of the camera. You'll hear a chime when this is successfully paired and then it will connect automatically. Once it's successfully connected, you can close Connecting. everything up, Please restart the application and this should direct you straight to your live feed. Finally, if both of those connection types have failed, then you can jump onto the camera's hotspot and manually enter your Wi-Fi password and credentials. But to be honest, if the first two steps have failed, there is likely an issue with your Wi-Fi. Now, if you know your Wi-Fi is good 100%, you need to check that A, you are on a 2.4 GHz connection, as this camera only works with 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi, and B, you want to check that you haven't got too many devices connected to your router at any one time. For example, my router will only accept 12 electronic devices. I did already have 12 devices occupying my router, so I needed to jiggle a few things here and there. Solved in the end, not a problem, and I hope this helps you if you do have any of the same issues. Okay then, so let's have a quick look at the app and the functionality, and then I'll give you my overall thoughts. When you come into the application for the first time, you'll be met with this shaded out screen and it'll give you a few icons here and there. It's just showing you the basic functions and letting you know where everything is. You can also upgrade the application and pay for cloud storage and things like that, but it's not necessary. It is fully functional for free. So you want to press the live feature button and this will bring us to our home screen where you'll get all of your options. Pretty basic but very user friendly. As you can see here we've got the motion detection. The intercom works well. Let's try screenshot. The screenshot works well. You can see that's just taken the screenshot in the bottom left corner. When we press record, we see the red record icon start to flash on screen as well, so that's pretty good. This camera doesn't record 24-7, by the way. It only records once it's detected motion or once you set it to record in the actual application. Also, a point of interest here, guys, the image on screen here is blown up almost six times, and with YouTube compression, this will look a little grainy. But I can assure you on the application itself, it is very, very clear. I would even say it's almost 2K. I must also apologize for the mess in my office. I'm not very experienced with all these boxes and I need to find some storage solutions. I am working on that. Back to the camera then. The torch also works well, the night light. I wouldn't say it's particularly bright. It wouldn't light up a large garden area, but certainly for indoors and small alleyways, things like that it's certainly sufficient. The pan and zoom is a full 360 degree pan and tilt. You can pretty much see every single angle with this camera. And like I said, you can zoom in from the pan screen or from the actual camera screen. I've just switched that to full HD and trying to zoom into this paper and keys on my desk here to see if we can read the writing. But unfortunately, it's not that clear. You can't read the writing when it's zoomed in that close but you can see everything from a distance and it is pretty color accurate too. So if we come onto the SD card, I've not currently put one in, so there's no data stored on there. If you had an SD card, there would obviously be files stored here. And also you do have a cloud storage that is free to access, so you can access some of your previous footage here, as you can see on screen just now. You can also access the calendar and all of your previous alarms and notifications from here. You can go through them manually and delete them. 
one by one. You can also delete multiple at a time, which is a big plus in my opinion, especially since recently I did test a CCTV unit where you had to delete them individually. And if you've got several or lots of alarms saved up for a week or two, for example, that could be very annoying. The application is very user friendly overall and I think it's pretty good, it works well, no problems with it whatsoever. The motion detection is very sensitive, I've actually turned it right down to around 3 because it kept setting the alarm off with just a change of light so as it was getting dark at tea time it would set the alarm off, if I walked into the room switched the light on it would set the alarm off. So I've turned the motion detection down to 3 out of 10 and that seems to be much better. You've also got warning and strobe light effects if you wish to have them activated. I've just activated them for the purposes of the test, but I don't normally use them. And I have to say, overall, I'm very impressed with this. As I said before, it's very user-friendly, works well overall, with a very snappy feel. The app walks you through the setup process very easily and clearly, and it's got loads of extra options, even for the free version such as the torch, the two-way talk, the 360 degree pan, tilt and zoom, screenshot features, and you've got full access to the camera, the application, and all of the settings from anywhere in the world, as long as you've got a Wi-Fi connection. On to my final thoughts then, I think it's very good. I can recommend this camera for offices, maybe the corner of your house, or if you've got an alleyway or somewhere like that, it would be absolutely ideal. Its main key strong points are the solar panel, so it's eco-friendly, but you do have an option to charge it manually at the outlet if you need to. Camera has a very long battery life, very easy to set up with everything included, all of the mounting equipment, the brackets for the camera and the solar panel, plus all of the mounting screws and plugs and stuff like that. It's got a long USB cable as well, so the solar panel could be placed up high if necessary. It's giving you options. The camera unit itself is also very well made with two aerial receivers. It's got two LED spotlights and a motion sensor. The motion sensor works very well and is very sensitive and is also customizable, so that is a massive plus. It's got rubber grommets to seal the connections and control panel for waterproofing, so it is suitable for outdoor use as well. And yeah, I'm very impressed with this. We're going to give it 4.2 out of 5 stars, and I can't find any faults as of yet with this device. If you found any part of this video helpful or informative at all, or just enjoy supporting me or small creators in general, go ahead and leave a like on the video, dislike if you disliked it, make sure you subscribe to the channel with your notifications on so you never miss any future uploads. Help me reach 75 subscriber goal, that would be absolutely awesome. Don't forget I'll leave links in the description for you guys, for the camera and also to my socials if you want to go ahead and follow me on Discord and Instagram too. That would be very much appreciated. Thank you to each and every one of you guys. And until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. I'm Craig, this is Really Random Reviews and I'll see you in my next video.